Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. So today we have an extension which will help you ease the process of making windows and doors in SketchUp. So here I'm talking about 1001 bit tools. Now this extension has a lot of tools in it, but we are specifically targeting the tools which will help you achieve the process of making doors, windows and walls in SketchUp. So to start with, we have an example of this flow plan. And in this, walls are not in a group neither in a component. Basically, these walls are exploded and we can easily select any surface by single clicking on it. Secondly, we have an example of a wall with same thickness, but this one is in a group. At last, we have a wall which is made using the same extension. So without wasting any other time, let's get started. To begin with, we will right click on the toolbar option and click on 1001 bit tools to bring the panel. In this, select the option to create openings. A dialog box will appear. This box will give you some instructions like the first point, which is the reference point, second point, which is the horizontal distance and third point, which is our vertical distance. So we will change the value accordingly. Like we'll take the width as one meter and height as 1.5 meter. After that, click on create opening. Notice how you can mouse on different faces. Now, first thing it's asking for is the reference point. For that, we will click on the corner. Second, it's asking for a horizontal distance. For that, we will randomly take any horizontal distance or you can put any value. After then, it's asking for the vertical distance for which I'm taking 0.89 meters. You can see how it automatically create the opening after entering the value. Notice how it worked on an ungrouped geometry. Well, now moving on to the second example, notice how it is going to work when the geometry is grouped. You can see it's not able to catch the surface. Every time we take the mouse near the group, it tries hard but fails to find the surface. There's one situation in which it will find the surface but fails to make the opening, whereas it makes a surface outside the group of same dimension. But what happens if we enter the group and repeat the process? The steps remain the same and here you go. We have the same opening within a group. Moving to the third situation for this, I'm going to delete the existing wall and make it again to explain the process. For this, we start with taking a pencil and mark the lines where you need the walls. Just like you get a base by importing CAD files. Click on the icon which says build vertical walls. A dialog box will appear. And this you can add thickness and height of the wall. Notice we have three different alignment. Left one, which means it will start from the left side of the point. Similarly, center alignment and right alignment. In this, we are selecting left alignment and click on built wall. You can see when I click on the point, it will give me an X-ray form of wall, which is showing the footprint. Now you just have to click on the points to turn the wall and double click when you need to end the process. And that was the simplest way to create walls in SketchUp. So after this, we again click on the opening and repeat the process by selecting a reference point, horizontal distance, and then marking the vertical distance. And there you go. You have a nice opening in just a single click. Now, the other best thing is that you can also make door openings using the same extension. Simply just change the opening value. Well, I'll have 0.9 meter for the width and 2.4 meter as my door height. In this, select a reference point, then double click to have the opening as we don't have any vertical distance to add. You can also add window frames. Just make a surface and click on create window frames and we will change the frame depth and let everything remains the same and click on create window frames. You can notice how it automatically creates a frame and a panel inside. Now you can give materials to the panel and a frame. Similarly, you can also have door frames. Make a surface, click on create door frame, adjust the frame depth and click on create frames. Apply material accordingly and that's how you can simply make openings and frames in just a single click. Just one more thing which I would like to add in this video that we can easily make vertical or horizontal lures. For that, make a surface and select create horizontal lures. Now this will ask you some values for the timing. I'm just clicking on create lures and you can see how it automatically creates horizontal lures in just a single click. You can delete this line once the process is done. That's all for today. Let us know if you like the video, comment down if you learn something new, subscribe if you are new to the channel.